Hello and welcome back. I'm Parag, Parag Deshpande, and today I'm going to talk about the book Fast Second. The book summarizes and it starts immediately with a, a nice question like who are the real innovators? What and where they are actually? So, so we generally tend to think that the real innovators are like big corporations, but, but it's, it's not the fact. There are a lot of small companies or startups which are actually the radical innovators or the real innovators. The book also talks about different types of innovation and the misconceptions of radical innovation which I'll be going through in the next couple of slides. The book talks about the dominant designs and uh, the author has spent a pretty long, long time uh, explaining the dominant designs and it's typically a design which flourishes over decades and centuries and most of the products are dependent on these dominant designs. The, bo the book also talks about scaling up in the market and then distinctively talks about first movers, second movers and fast second movers which we'll be going through. So if you, if you see different types of innovations and plot a chart of effect on consumer behaviors versus effect on competencies and assets of an organization and considering the enhances and the destroying strategy are minor and major, we get four types of innovation which is incremental innovation which is most commonly seen and then the major innovation if the announcement is major then it's, it's called as major innovation. The strategic innovation where it's, it's, a, it's a different kind of path but then minor incremental changes happen and then the radical innovation which is called as disruptive innovation as well which destroys the path completely it needs a different mindset and technology as well. Misconceptions of radical innovation are most big companies create radical new markets and these companies want to create radical new markets whereas these are real misconception because the process and attitude in large corporations are very different and to be a radical innovator you need a complete different mindset. How do you scale up in the market? It, it's typically targeting the average customer making sure that you win the dominant design race, make sure that the rest of the products would follow your design, reduce the customer risk. The customer wants to be confident about your product or innovation and make sure that the customer adopts your product quickly. Build distribution channels, make sure that, that the prices are low and so the mass market can adopt your product. And then creating alliances with suppliers and producers, making sure that your product could be scalable soon and then offering different kind of services uh, with the help of suppliers. What is exactly first mover, second mover, and the fast second? So I would like to bring back the, the technology adoption life cycle diagram over here, and then try to talk about the first mover, which is like a strategy involving getting into the market quickly, making sure that you are producing your own product variants and trying to capture the market. The second mover strategy involves waiting for the dominant design to be completely established and then move into the mass market. Whereas the fast second strategy is somewhere in between and it involves the wait, waiting for the dominant design just to begin to emerge into the market and using the same to create a mass market. The points to remember in conclusion over here are there are three dimensions of strategy which is customer focus, product offerings and activities your product will perform. And strategies are not like a concrete cast and can be and can be and need to be flexible. Uh, depending on time and different conditions. I hope you like my review. Thank you.